Okay, welcome to lab 10, configuring VPN and routing. Uh, found in the Microsoft Official Academic Course, administering Windows Server 2012 R2, in preparation for exam 70-411. This lab actually has six parts, I'm sorry, six exercises. And this first video is going to go over exercise 10.1, installing and configuring the RRAS. The approximate time for this is 15 minutes. So, to configure standard VPN connections, you use routing and remote access server. You install routing and remote access server on server 1. The mindset is that the routing and remote access server can perform remote access, dial-up, and VPN, the NAT, and the routing. Again, the approximate completion time for this exercise is 10 minutes, so let's get started. <clears throat> Again, a good part of, of housekeeping. Um, I always want to, you always want to create a checkpoint, and I'm going to go ahead and open up this because it takes less than a minute to do and you always want to have a, a basically a, a backup so as we're working through these labs if you get to a point where you realize you've made a mistake you can go back just to this this checkpoint and basically restart your server state so I'm going to go ahead and do F2 to rename it's gonna be server 01 put in check point before lab 10. And now I'll go ahead and minimize it. And you'll see I already have my RWDC up and going. So I'm going to go right into my server 1 and log in at Contoso slash administrator. So we're going to use our password, and then on go, And, and maximize our server manager. We're going to click on manage. Add roles and features. Then next, next. Next, and we want to scroll down and select remote access. And then we'll go ahead and click on next. And next. And Next, here we want to click on the box that says direct access and VPN, and then add features, and then we want to click on routing, next, And here we're going to click on install. So this brings us to our first question. You have a user who will be giving demonstrations of your company products while traveling to the customer sites.
For the demonstration to work, the user will need access to the corporate servers and files. What should you install and configure? The remote access role can be used to establish a VPN connection. Some of these shorter videos, if they have, if there are a couple of short videos that are back to back, I'll go ahead and record both of them under the same video. But the next exercise is going to be configuring a VPN server and it's approximately 30 minutes, so I'm not going to combine this one. So once this is done, we'll go ahead and close out and end this video. Okay, it has completed, so now we'll go ahead and do. You know, if you're following along in your lab manual, this is where you would take your next screenshot. And then we'll go ahead and click on close. And this is the end of this exercise and the end of this video.